Hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon. It's that means it's time for It's time for What? Blue face. The Sunday after the show. The sass. <laughs> the sass. Jeremiah, why do you have a blue face? Do what do you eat? Why is it a blue face? Airhead, a you, blue one. <clears throat> were you supposed to eat Airhead a blue one? No. Did you steal Airhead? Yeah. Are you sorry? I'm sorry. Okay, there. <laughs> Just public confession. Gotta put the treats higher now. Yeah. Hey, look at Sarah. And she turned. Bye. <laughs> Rare glimpse of teenager. In the wild. In the wild. <laughs> Sarah turned 11. We decorated some. Decorated the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Another Christmas tree. A little bit tree. for Christmas slash uh, fall. Yeah, it's fall, y'all. <laughs> Here in Puerto Rico, it is Christmas pretty much the day after Halloween. And so it will be uh, Christmas until the middle of January. Yep. And, and it's great. that will be a continuous thing. Everybody is on the street selling coquito and tembleque. And if you don't know what those things are, you should try them one day. They are delicious. Be careful with the coquito. Yeah, yeah. It might have a little rum in there. If, if it's you, 10 bucks a bottle, side. it's got alcohol. It's like the, the Three island. bucks a bottle, get, the, get that one. It's like the island version of eggnog. Yeah, it's so, good But stuff. it's coconut based. Good stuff. And so, yeah, good stuff here. Everyone's just kind of feeling festive. We have some people traveling, and that's going to be an on and off thing. Um, for the rest of the time, so but we did. We decorated, and um, yeah, we're excited. Good decorated. services we today. Good service today. Yep. Yep. Good time. Mm -hmm. I had a good number of people in both. Hey. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Yep. Good service today. Um, preaching on keeping our mission and knowing. Who to reach, how to reach them, and when to stop. It was a good service. They good, good comp, uh, one of the families came back and had been out for a couple weeks. Spanish service. And Mr. Pedro was here to say he's been, he said, I need to recharge my battery. I thought he meant his car battery died this morning. No, my battery. I need to come to church to, to recharge. He's been sick all week. Uh, he was able to come this morning. That was good. He's one. We've been uh, so grateful to have a place to be able to do that because for years he just avoided church because it was nothing he agreed with. And he was very firmly Baptist in doctrine, and there was not that here until we were able to open the church. So yep. it's been something to give him some purpose in his later years. Yeah, he's really enjoyed being here with us. So we're having a good time with that. I had a business meeting on Saturday, a uh, quick business meeting. We had a lot of breakfast, but. <laughs> There's like people, all right, we're going to meet at 10, get here at 10.45. Um, In have... their defense, there's some road I got, And yeah, I, I, got, I got full from all the breakfast. All the breakfast. From all today's breakfast. Yesterday's breakfast too? And the kids might have had pancakes and donuts. And sausage breakfast. and donuts. And yeah. So they didn't eat the rest of the day because they were too full apparently. Yep, donuts. That's a new thing here now, donuts. Somebody keep bringing donuts. Yeah. Somebody. Stop talking about donuts. We had a good time. Thank you, New Music in Church this morning. Uh, just having a good time with everybody here. And some people are saying both services. Some are some are sticking around a little bit. Some are not. But you know, uh, I spent a lot of time on the phone this week with people in the church. I, uh, Thursday night we had Bible study and I went on just on the phone. But Thursday night stayed 30 minutes after talking to one family that was here. And then I talked to some people on the phone uh, throughout the week, at different times, just to um, find out where they are and some different needs, things like that. I have a lot, a lot of things going on in the church at once right now, with a lot of different folks. So uh, it's, it's not all bad. Not all bad. It's a lot going on. I mean, we have a lot more. We have a lot of people. Each people are individual talking. has their own life, their own needs, where they are spiritually. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. so not a bad thing. Just a lot going on. Uh, we're going to be baptizing next Sunday for anniversary service. That's exciting. We should be able to do that next Sunday. Got our our tank ready, and we're ready to start using that. The kids uh, <laughs> cleaned it. Cleaned it more like they turned it into a swimming pool. They bathed in it. Yeah. I walk outside, there's a big bubbly pool of water, about three feet deep, and they're just, oh, we're scrubbing the sister. No, they were, they were, they were swimming. They were swimming. Yeah, we in it. I got it. It's like kind of falling. In. <laughs> falling. I told you, the phone's too heavy for my arms. <laughs> hey, look at Zachary. Yes, he did help me out the cistern. Yes, he did. And why'd you get? Very clean. And what'd you get for cleaning out the cistern? A sleepover. With who? Sarah and Micah. And. Hmm? And you. Julie. And Chewy. <laughs> of course, Chewy was there too. And we yeah. played video games all night. Not all night. Yes, all yes, night. Yes, all night. Okay, till midnight. You were in bed while we were playing them. They stayed in bed at midnight playing video games. They stayed up to midnight playing video games, and we were cool with that. Yeah, we don't, they don't hardly ever do that, so it's, no. 
first time for them. We have, we have a bribe system at our house. You do extra work, and we don't give allowance, so you can earn things, whether it's uh, uh, video game time or apparently sleepovers, candy, yeah. different stuff Let's like do that. do extra tours yeah, It's kind of fun to get stuff nice. Oh, yeah. stuff to do right now. And, you know, but in the kids' class today, um, we threw rice everywhere. <laughs> I heard, I heard <laughs> like, oh, they're playing with the rice. Yeah. Because she asked me this morning, I need a cup of rice. I'm like, what are you going to do with a cup of rice? And I knew, I'm make a mess on this floor. Yeah. yeah. That's all I so we've been talking about Joseph and um, the story of his line and really focusing on the idea that God made the promise all the way back with Abraham and that he was going to fulfill that in, in very unusual ways and that there's nothing impossible for God and he's going to do whatever he wants and uh, within his will. And that even if we get to this point of tired of waiting and tired of not. And so we talked a little bit about the country of Nepal. That's been the missionary focus. And then, um, yeah, and talking about how they have a certain tea and um, made of mantequilla de yak. Yak. Yak butter. Yak butter. Yak butter tea. And uh, it's something I want to research. I don't know if it's yes, uh, yes. true. Yeah, we know a couple of missionaries there. So. Yeah. So uh, talk to you. That's so old. Anyway, so what we were doing in class, um, we talked about this time of famine, and um, that was the reason that Jacob and his family had to go search out Egypt anyway. And so we decided to do, naturally, relays uh, using, using rice because, of course, they had to collect the grain store for, for the time being. And so we did everything from just carrying rice on spoons to blind, uh, not blindfold, but eyes closed with a spoon in the mouth. and. Yeah, to see how much uh, grain they were going to be able to get before the time of bad came. The time so, of bad? The time of bad. The, it's going to be a time of bad. Come kind of good, time of bad. I think it's like Your encouragement is bad. Okay, I know. <laughs> anyway, it was funny because I could hear them from the church when I'm preaching. Anyway. Like, eh, they're playing games. So well, here we are sitting. You know, here I'm preaching about, uh, you know, go and reach people around you. And all of a sudden, the kids' class breaking out in. And if you can't hear it, there's two people and... down here fighting over wanting to be in the video. Can you move? I want to be in the videos. And now all of a sudden, they're going, okay, because now they can be seen in the video. So, yeah, there you are. All right. Anyway. So, no, yep, good week. Fun stuff going on. Uh, and then this week, we get ready for anniversary coming up. And we're going to finish decorating for Christmas. And Saturday, we're going to decorate our house for Christmas because it is that time of year. And, and cut the jungle. And I'm going to cut the jungle. It finally stopped raining nine hours a day. So I can cut the grass. You might come back in not brown. <laughs> no, pretty much going to come back in uh, burned. <laughs> burned. There's no cash. Yeah. There we go. So, but yeah, good time. So, anyway, I don't think there's so much else to talk about this week. And we'll meetings sure we and school. And oh, yeah, stuff. this week we do. Yeah, we had some last week, too. And we'll keep doing some of our, our uh, meetings, talking with uh, partners, Bye. partnership by the ministry and things like that. So, we're learning how to do that better. Uh, we got to meet with our mission board tomorrow, actually. Talk mm -hmm. with our mission board director, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, so any more time getting to them. And yeah, we're going to share some stuff with us tomorrow. It's going to be a good time. So, lots of things going on this week. Uh, we did find out from the school in Texas that the person they were hoping to have come as our fill-in for next year is not going to come. He's going to go start a sports ministry somewhere in Texas. So, pray with us about finding somebody, because we're still reaching out to different organizations and relief groups and other missions agencies, trying to find somebody who will come down here and take the work while we're gone on furlough. Uh, and that, that kind of hit a so dead end. We, thought we need somebody that's bilingual, and we need somebody that's willing to run the ministry the Probably way Probably a married couple to be able to run both really. dynamics yeah. of the... The service. So, uh, yeah, pray we can find somebody because we really need to get that question answered soon and the sooner the better. But uh, that's that's a big thing right now. But yeah, I got a lot going on this week. Gonna be busy again. Hopefully, reach some new people this week. I'm getting the food pantry built up. Oh, we should be opening the food pantry pretty soon once a week. Yeah, I think we got two volunteers now. Cool, yeah. So, some families are running for us. Now we just got to get it opened and then keep stocking it up with more food and um, have people we're open it to receive donations as well as give out at the same time. Mm -hmm. But we're excited we don't have to do that. We won't be the ones here doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's an amazing thing. It's probably one of the first ministries that we've started off that we have been able to be somewhat hands-off as far as yep. Yep. Um, running it, which is good because it's the church being their church and them getting involved in ministries that they feel as a part of it. And it does allow us to be able to study more, to get deeper in word, and to be free with all of these new people that need counseling and yeah, need um, yeah. discipleship. So. Yeah, and also, uh, speaking of that, I talked to somebody Saturday about this idea of being a deacon in the church. And um, he said, oh, I gotta go to school. And I said, no, no, that's not, what it, that's not how it works. You know, you're already basically qualified 
uh, because you're serving in the church and you have a heart for the Word of God and you're witnessing. So therefore, uh, as long as we go through a few other little things here and there, but you're already kind of the guy for the job. And, uh, he didn't realize that's how it worked. So he, I already talked to him about that. We have the and, potential uh, of at least one other. Yeah, so we, pro we probably have two of them by the time we leave, which would be great to have that leadership before mm -hmm. we head on furlough. So like I said, things coming together, going into I the, what we, we keep calling it, right? Phase two. Phase two. Phase two. Getting people in leadership. They, yep. We have people in the door. We have people that are coming faithfully. They consider this their church. Yep. And now we're training them to be leaders. Yep. You know, not just, to not to just sit here and receive. Yeah, to lead, There's to serve. Balls over there in the corner. To lead, to serve, and to start that multiplication process. Yep, that allows us to be able to go start the next one and get this one going. So it's a lot of things going on. That's going to take a couple more years to get there, we think. But we start now. We go on furlough, leave them in, in charge for a while, see how it goes, give more responsibility, and then as we come back, see where we are. But uh, going in the right direction, it's kind of nice to see that. You know, we, we've been obviously seven years next week with the church. Uh, we've been wanting to see this for a long time. Gone through a lot of people that came and went, but now we're finally seeing this group that's staying and serving and finding their place. Ooh, that didn't sound good. I was skidding their brakes in front of the church. Yep. Anyway, but uh, yeah, so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to what's going what's gonna to come out of that over the next next few years here but as always thank you guys for praying for us say hi micah we're wearing the same shirt we're wearing the same color shirt yes thing one and thing two over there definitely and feel free to say happy birthday to sarah everybody she had her birthday this week and she bought wing feather no it's my Wikipedia. oh and now she can buy Wikipedia. Yeah. if you don't know what wing feathers yeah and then it comes out Wing Feather Saga book series is a family favorite. Currently our favorite, and the show comes out on Angel, what is it, Angel Studios? In yeah, December? Yeah, in December? And, and we're going to watch that every week now, so it's going to be awesome. We're going to make one forward to it for Christmas. Nerd alert. Unapologetically nerdy. Absolutely. Something new to be nerdy about. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my voices from the book are better than the ones that came out on the show. We already know this. We read it as, as yeah, a family, like publicly, uh, like, all yeah. Yeah, to each other. And we sat in bed at night. We were, <laughs> we would sit in bed at night and read, oh, one more chapter, one more chapter. We should probably go to sleep now. Five chapters later, it's 2 a.m. All right, we can go to bed now. Yeah, so it's pretty good if it keeps both the adults and the children captivated. Yeah, anyway. So that's a random note about our family life, I guess. And we're super should excited. show what Benjamin is currently doing. He climbed. There's Benjamin. Hey, everybody. Who Say bye. Who an airhead this morning? Say bye. No more airheads, no more powdered donuts. All right, we'll talk to you later. See you next week.